Thank you so much, uh, Deborah, for the good work. Thank you so much, Uncle of Christ, Shalin. God bless you and increase you. I want to appreciate and thank everybody, everybody that is here. Thank you for taking your time and finding it worthy to be in this place today just to experience God. One thing that I have to guarantee you is that you will see God. You cannot be in a prophetic gathering like this and your life to remain the same. Something about God is happening is happening in your life, in your family today. By the testimony that you have had in this place, I believe that the testimonies alone are able to prepare you for what God is about to do in this place. Uh, sometimes God surprises me. I've never understood how God works in this place. I personally have never understood. Uh, just yesterday, Chosen was here. She was telling me about uh, what is happening in her family. And the moment, even as she was talking, if you are here, you can remember, I did pray. I just told her it is a done deal. I remember those are the, right, the, the exact words I used. I told her it is a done deal. Look at how God has moved. Today I was praying at around 5 p.m. my prayer time. And as I was praying, God began to speak to me. And I wrote down uh, the first thing that God spoke to me is that Pamela's sister has had a safe delivery. I was praying and God told me that at 5 p.m. in my prayers time. Ah, <laughs> There are many things I wrote here. Some are not for you. <laughs> But God just confirmed to me that the prophecy I gave her has come to pass. We serve a God who answers on time. He answers on time. Your time may not be his time, but when he chooses to answer, that is the best time that child of God, you can experience the answer and the voice of God in your life. I decree and I declare to 50 people, wherever you are, those that are on Facebook, those that are watching a recap on YouTube, those that are on emo right now, I decree, I declare that whatever you came for in this service today, you will receive it today. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is your portion. It is your portion. I want to thank and appreciate everybody for the testimonies. God bless you and increase you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Nancy, God bless you and thank you so much for coming. Everybody that is joining us for the first time, you are welcome in this place. Uh, get ready to experience something about God and your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus. Ah. Now today, God told me, to tell you that he is ready for you. Because I'm talking to people who have been running. Let me tell you, on earth, everybody is always running. But what amazes me is sometimes you can meet, is when you meet somebody running. And they cannot explain why they are running, where they are running to, and who is chasing them. It's like you begin to wonder what is the problem with this person. When God has chosen things to come and be manifested in your life, when God is preparing seasons in your life, sometimes, child of God, it gets hotter that it has caused people to run out of the presence while they were supposed to be in the presence. Ah. I don't know if you have ever been a victim, but once I ran, Sometimes back I ran away and I said, I'm not going to do ministry again. I will not again be in church. And for two years, I was outside there doing all I thought was good for me. Doing what I thought was fulfilling me. But every time I was out of the presence of God, something was happening and I began to notice that I was losing value. I was losing things even in my physical life. And I could not understand. And God told me it is because I left the presence where people are preserved, where people are made greater, where people are given the privilege to increase, multiply, and grow. 
Today I'm talking to people who ran away. But God told me he is waiting. Ah, that is why I came to tell somebody I ran away, but now I'm running back to God. I hope today your confession is going to be I ran away, but now I run back to you, Jesus. I ran back to the place where God had ordained for me. Because there are people here who are supposed to be great. You are supposed to have experienced and encountered very great things in your life. But just because you ran away, when you were supposed to run to, you chose to run away. Now you uh, when you come back, then you be, you need to begin again. Some of you, your blessings have been delayed. Why? Because when God had prepared to bless you, you left. When God had purpose to do a great thing in your life, you left. When God was looking forward to release a mystery, to release an answer, to release something in your life that will silence your enemies, you chose to leave the presence. I ran away. But I ran back to you. In the book of Luke chapter number 15. In the book of Luke chapter number 15. Uh, I love this story. This is my best story. This is my best sermon ever since I began to preach. And today I'm going to speak to you by the help of the Holy Ghost. By the revelation that God is going to release now for you in the name of Jesus. Verses 12 of Luke chapter number 15. The Bible says... The young one said, I'll begin from number 11. Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The Bible says, the young one said to his father, Ah, father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after. After that, the young son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. Father, I bless you for your word. I pray that tonight you use it for somebody that came desperate, yearning to hear from you. That Lord, after this sermon, somebody will increase. Somebody will be multiplied. Somebody will be lifted. Somebody will receive their portion. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I speak this prayer, wherever you are, you can type Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Now the Bible is talking about a certain man. And he had two sons. I have a problem with people who are young because this one, I believe if he was mature enough, it's because I don't blame him, I don't blame anything, but I blame his young. He, the, the Bible says that the young one, I blame his time that he had, I blame his experience, I blame what he knew, I blame blame the knowledge that he was introduced to. I blame what he had not learned in life. The Bible says the young one, ah, he said to the father, give me my own share. Give me whatever is mine. Child of God, sometimes it is not about what you receive in life that matters. It is not about, I know People, most of you, you are here right now because you want a miracle. I will pray you will experience your miracle. Just about now, I'm about to pray to people. I'm about to prophesy and God will be moving mightily and touching lives. But it is not important. Thank you, Jesus. What you receive is not important. I believe you can hear me on emo. If you can hear me, give me a siren. What you receive is not what is important. The young one, he said to his father, I want my share. I want what in, is mine. The moment he received what was his, the Bible says he left the presence. He left the place where men are made mature. 
where men are qualified to receive, where men are preserved. And he took a journey and he left far away from the presence of the Father, away from where wealth is manufactured. Child of God, one of the things that you, you should never do in life is for you to leave the place where you get your peace, where you get your provision, where God speaks and touches your life. Child of God, what you should never do in life is you to get to leave the place where God speaks and reveals things in your life. Child of God, the moment you leave the presence, what you live with does not matter. It does not matter because it does not determine how you will be preserved. Mm. This young man left. I know people have come here because they want a miracle. I will release it. You will receive it because it is your portion. But it is not the miracle that I'm going to give your life. It is not the miracle that I will release in your life that matters. What matters, child of God, is the relationship that you have with your God. It's not the prophecy that I'm about to speak. It's not the healing that I'm about to heal. But I thank God that God used that sickness to cause you to be in our service today. I thank God that God allowed that problem to come in your life. I told you sometimes when God has got an interest with in somebody, God begins to devise. He put, he plots against this person. He makes sure that he removes everything that blocks you to see God. Because every time the marriage is working, you cannot see God. Every time you have money, you cannot see God. Every time you are employed, you are in work, you cannot see God. Because all you see is what God has given you. Ah! And you forget that there is somebody behind this car, behind this house that I bought. There is an ability, the Bible says, remember the Lord your God. Because he is the one who gives you the power to make wealth. The wealth you have, be it spiritual wealth, be it physical wealth, it has taken God to give you power. Ah! God may have not given it to you physically, directly, but he used an idea. He gave you favor, you were employed. He gave you favor, you received something. You received an access for you to receive whatever you are enjoying right now. So it is very wrong, child of God, when you replace God with the blessing of God. Ah! Now there are people, there are men who have taken God and put God aside and decided to replace God. Who gave them that car? Who gave them that job? Who gave them that money? Who caused them to be who they are today? And now they, they are focused. That, that's why I tell you sometimes God begins to plan, to plot against you. He removes the blessing. He removed people that are covering you so that you you, you get to focus on God. Sometimes thank God for problems that come in your life. If it were not for problem, uh, my daughter Shalin will not be here. If it were not for problem, this daughter of mine, you see Deborah, she will not be here. And I believe most of you, 99.999% of you, you are here because problems pushed you to God. Ah! You are here because a problem pushed you to go. But it will not have been so if your relationship was great with God. Child of God, you don't need to have the same encounter again. It is only a fool who would want, who would learn the same lesson twice. A wise man once said, once beaten, twice shy. Child of God, don't allow again for you to get yourself in problem so that you begin to look for God and begin to make false promises to God. Father, if you get me out of this sickness, I will serve you forever. Father, if you do this, ah, child of God, use this opportunity. Use this opportunity. There are people who run from God for very funny reasons. Just because you, I called the man of God, he did not answer. I'm not going to church today. Ah! Ah! 
I lifted my hand for the man of God to pray for me. He did not pray. I'm leaving that church. Oh, you will never see me there again. Ah! The man of God told me to do an offering. An offering that is supposed to help you, not the man of God. You'll be like, this man is extracting money from me. This man, child of God, some people, they leave the presence of God for very funny reasons. Child of God, don't allow anything, whatever it is, to get you out of the presence of God. Because it is in the presence of God that men are made great. It is in the presence of God that people are sustained. This young man, the Bible says, the moment he received Mm. My prayer is that when God begins to speak, every miracle that God will be releasing in this place, child of God will not cause you just to go and never come back again. After I've prayed for you and God heals you, after God is going to change your story, child of God, let your relationship with God be maintained. Even if you don't come here, even if you don't serve God in, in our midst on email, on Facebook, on YouTube, child of God, find a place and make sure you begin to work with your relationship with God. I ran away, but now I am running back to you. Sometimes what causes people to run back to God is what they encountered while they ran away from God. Because when you run away from God, sometimes it helps you to realize that you need God more, even more than you initially thought. Mm. This man, the Bible says, he received his portion. His mind was focused. I believe that because he was young, there's something that he had not learned. But I thank God you are here. I'm here for you so that I can speak to you. So that you will not have to go through the same experience that other people have had to go through. Why? Because they were not matured, well matured enough in Christianity. They are not well uh, informed in life. So they found themselves running and every time... Child of God, you know, if you keep on doing that, your life begins to go in circles. You come here, the man of God disappoints you, you'll be like, I, I, this is not the place to be. You go to another church. How many church? Some of you can count up to 10 church that you have been here on the emo. You have been in this. You know almost every prophet, every apostle, every... Why? Because you have been running every time you are running. Child of God, is about time you settle. Try to find out what works for me. What do I need in my life? Ah, may God open you up to your settlement. May God open you up to your settlement. Yesterday I told you, you need a man in your life that can become a voice. Ah, personally I told you, I have only one man of God that speaks upon my life. I have only one father that I submit to. I have only one. Ah! Some of you here, you have like 10. I don't know. Now I wonder how do you tithe? How do you? I don't know. It is difficult to balance things. Because if you come to me, I have my own revelation upon the problem you are passing through. You go to another apostle, another prophet, they have another revelation. Now you, you, you become confused. Now you don't know to, who to follow. Ha! The Bible says this man, after he received whatever he had received, the Bible says no long, not long after he received, the young man, the young son, he got together all he had. Some of you, you have gathered all your miracles. Ah! You have gathered all, you, don't, you didn't even remember I have to give tithe. You didn't even remember I have to give a thanksgiving. You didn't even remember I have to, to, to tell God, thank you, I have to do an offer. You gathered everything and you left, you ran. Ah! Now if people are doing that to you, imagine people, you help people. You supply them with things. And then the moment they get, they don't even tell you thank you. They run. Ah! I love God because every, <laughs> I love God for every principle he put. Because every time there is an input, there has to be an output. Every time there is an output, there has to be an input. Some of you, the moment you receive an input, you run, you, you forget that you have an output. And the more you output, 
The more you will need to input. I don't know if I'm speak I don't know if somebody is understanding my English today. That that is a prophetic language only prophetic people can understand what I'm saying. So you receive your miracles and you run forgetting that in as much as you have received there is a point where you begin to give and now you this man he didn't know there is a pro, uh, there is a principle called input and output principle i just made that up by the help of the spirit of god he forgot that there is a principle whereby whenever there is an input there is an output and if there is an output you need an input so that you will be sustained child of god when you have received your miracle when god has worked for you don't take everything and run ha! <laughs> i am about to change somebody's life here by the grace of god but the moment god touches your life right now child of god don't take everything and run Remember the God that touched your life in time of need. Remember the God that changed your story. Remember the God that is speaking in your life. Remember the God that is doing wonders in your life, child of God. It is important. This young man he took everything and left. He took everything and ran. He forgot that the process had just begun. Ah, there is a point when now after you have received you need to begin giving and it began to happen the bible says he set off for a distant country he made sure that that pastor will never locate me ah <laughs> i eh uh, he made sure that that pastor he prayed he will never ah yeah 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 i'm going to run ah He went far. The Bible says he set off for a distant country, not a county, not the next city. He went to another. Ah. And there the principle began to work on him. He began to practice the output. He was not experiencing an input. The Bible says he squandered his wealth in wild living. Ah. <laughs> he forgot that there is a place I got these things. Child of God sometimes when God blesses your life you need God more than the blessings that God has put in your life. Some of you you have misused men. The moment you received something whatever you wanted from them you ran away. You forgot God that every time you eat and you are full there is a time that you will need food again some of you 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 had your breakfast you had your lunch you had your supper it doesn't the journey does not end there because every time there is an input you know the process better every time you put something in your mouth there is an output when the output happens what will happen you will need the hand that fed your mouth to feed your mouth again so that you are uh, you see that practical example i'm giving you it applies everywhere so just because god has give us blessed you today it does not mean that now tomorrow you don't need to pray just because god has changed your life when you came here if you came here desperate maintain the desperation maintain the desperation for god tell god i need you more i know you answered me but lord i need you more because there is another level i am heading there is another challenge coming my way there is something else i want to experience from you i speak to 20 people under the influence of my voice today may god open you up that you will rely on god more than what you have received from god in the name of jesus may jehovah give you the grace ah you are watching me right now you are like i am a victim I received something and now I put my time more to my car. I concentrate so much on my land. I concentrate so much on my ah. You even have the guts to tell people I don't have time to come to church. Ah. Why because I am attending to the blessing. The blessing that you received from church now is 
causing you not to be seen in ch- it is an error it is an error child of god ha ah! having to deny god time the god that provided you with whatever you are handling whatever you are having child of god may god give you the grace some of you you ran away and you are not aware because even how you used to come to church has decreased how you used to pray has decreased may god give you the grace the grace sharo azika pele barivo shahazada the grace for you to keep on serving god just as you are serving him when you needed a miracle just as you are serving him when you needed an answer may god give you that grace some of you you ran away and you are not aware you are not praying as you used to pray because before god answered your prayer you are not serving god the way you used to serve you are not giving the way you used to give when you needed god to move in your life you forget that there is tomorrow child of god we don't worship god because of our problems ah <laughs> we don't worship god you there are people who are using god like a dog i told you of an a, a, a hunter what a hunter does he sends out his dog and tells the dog go and catch the best and now the dog is running focused to catch so that ah it can make the owner proud it can make the hunter proud what happens after the after 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 after, after what happens after the dog has catched the best the hunter will begin to throw stones at the dog the same dog that ah imagine the dog is the one running in the field the dog catches the prey and now after the hunter after the dog has catched the prey the hunter will pick a stone throw the stone to the dog ah why because he wants to ah 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 he wants to feed on the prey that the dog has been working all day on i pray and i decree here that god will give people grace to value to value what god is doing in your life to value what god is doing in your life you will not use god for miracles you will not be using god just you want god i want god i want why lest you are giving nothing to god mm. you cannot even take 5 minutes and pray you cannot say i out of god what you have god you have given me i'm gonna tithe out of god what you have given me i'm going to support your life your work the hunter hits the dog picks the prey goes and prepare the prey the hunter will be eating the best of the meat and throwing bones to the dog the same dog ah child of god do not reduce god to a dog level do not reduce god to a dog level where by you are giving god leftovers ah! if i were you i would give god the best of my time now that you are strong child of god serve god now that you are not sick you have the ability you can raise your voice and begin to pray child of god serve god I may God give somebody under the influence of my voice the grace may God give somebody under the influence of my voice the grace the grace to be stable the grace to experience God the grace to move the grace to function in the capacity that God has assigned for you I decree to 30 people following me right now on Facebook those that are watching a recap right now I decree I declare may God open you up to a level. May God open you up to a level of understanding for you to get to know that despite of money, I need God more than that car. I need God more than that wife. I need God more than everything in my possession. Mm. It is important that child of God you realize you need God. Sometimes 
you may need God to get you out of problems. But understand that there are times that you need God to preserve you from encountering these challenges and problems. You may be saying, I was, I was in trouble. Uh, I needed prayers because... I was fasting because I needed a husband. I was fasting because I was ex I was through a hard time. Child of God, love God in all seasons. Ah, uh, this young man, he forgot that there is a principle called input output. Hmm. Every time there is an input, there is an output. Everything that has a birthday has a death day. So how prepared are you, child of God, for where you are going? Because you cannot be moving blindly. There is a target. There is an ah. There is a time where your clock will stop. How prepared are you for that moment? How prepared are you for that moment when there will be nobody else but God? Don't you even feel ashamed? When you go back, you tell God, God, again, I have come. I know I ran away, but again, I have come. If I was doing the same to you, who, how would you feel? I come to you, I become so good only because I need you to do me a favor. And the moment you have given me the money, the moment I've got what I've received from you, I block you, I don't talk, I don't communicate, I'll only show up when I'm in trouble. Ah, and some of you, because you did that to God, it is happening to you because you went to God for miracles, because you ran for God for what he could do. Now, because you used to go to church because of your expectations and you received what you wanted and you left, now it has replicated in your life people come in your life when you are when they want you to become a blessing in the in their life when you are able to give them solution and the moment you have sorted their problems the moment they have used you the moment they have drawn everything from you and they realize you are broke they run away they leave they leave you for dead ah this process of this thing of you running child of god Run to God. The more you become blessed, the more God blesses me, the more I humble. The more my heart wants to serve him more. Ah, You know, last Sunday I was in church. My mom in the Lord told me something that has been giving me restless nights from Sunday. She told me something and I've been thinking and up to now I'm still thinking, trying to crack the God, why did she tell me what she told me? It was really heavy. Child ah. of God, it is important for you to know that there is always tomorrow. And tomorrow is waiting for you. The more you are blessed, child of God, the more you pray. The more you rise, the more you need God more. The people that you see successful in your society, if you follow them up, they are relying on a spiritual cover. These men that are building mansions, these men that are building flats, these men that have transit on the road, these men that run the economy of Kenya, if you follow them up, you will realize they have spiritual cover. Because they have realized that money alone is not... Uh, you will find them going to witches. You will find some of them going to men of God, giving, offering, praying, telling the man of God, I will give you... Do you know there are people who, who can pay you, Pamela, just for you to pray for them? Because they understand the power of spirituality. They understand how powerful spiritual things are. Ah, child of God, there is no point where a man living under the face of earth, living under the sun, does not need God. You need God despite of how many millions are in your account. You need God. Mm. People who thought that money was everything, right now they have money, yes. But they don't have peace. They cannot enjoy their money. Why? Because every time they are worried, every time things are happening that are not ordinary, things that are not normal, 
You find somebody with money, with everything, but when they don't have children, and if they are blessed, if they are they are graced to have children. All the children they have, they are disabled. Now they, they have money, but they don't have joy. They have money. They don't sleep at night. Every time they'll be like, I want to take a nap, a call will come. Your car has got an accident. You are building as just, ah. You need God. There is God who blesses men with properties. There is God who gives men things. But then the same God knows how to preserve what he has given you. The Bible says this man left, he squandered everything. If you will tell this man there is offering, he will tell you, shut up. If you tell this man there is what we call tithe, he will, he will, he will ask you, what do I need to tithe for? Ah, Why? Because money is speaking. Ah, there are some people here, the moment they touch money, the first thing they begin to think about is Dubai, Mombasa, I don't know, I want to go where. The first thing that comes in their mind is how to satisfy the flesh. You tell this person, let's pray, let's give time, they'll be like, what for? Why do I have to pray? Ah, child of God, let God be the center of every success in your life. Let God be the reason, let God be the reason. Of why you go to church, not because you want a car, not because you want a miracle, not because you want a prophecy. Prophecies are good. Miracles are good. But child of God, there is something that is going to go with you even after life. When you die, this woman you are chasing, every day and night you will leave her and perhaps she will get married to another man. This man, you, you can't sleep. You don't have peace because of him. When you die, if you die today, in fact, some can even leave you, run and go to another woman, another man. This property that you worship so much, one day you will be sick, you go to the hospital. The, hospital, the doctor will tell you, this one is beyond science. We cannot help you with this. What will you do? That is when you will realize that in spite of the money, in spite of everything, I need God. Don't wait for such moments for you to begin to running back to God. Begin to plan if you have not been praying, if you have not been doing what you are supposed to do for the glory of God. Begin a plan for you to get back. Begin running back to God. Ah, You need God more than the prophecy you came for tonight. You need God more than that healing you came for tonight. You need God more than that blessing, that miracle you want to have. You need God more. Do you know when you open, when you check the account of God, all that God gives is Jesus. That is what God does. He gives Jesus. The Bible says in the beginning, Beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. What does the Bible says again? It says, and the word became flesh. So every time you, you run to God, what God, the solution that God gives you is Himself. God gives you His word. God gives. Have you not known? Ah, I, some people are hearing this for the first time, they are shocked. Every time, if right now you check the account of God. You know your balance is reading in million, in shillings, in dollars, I don't know what. But the account of God reads God. It reads Jesus. Mm. That is why when you come to me, man of God, I'm sick, what I do, I give you a portion of Jesus. Ah, Somebody, you need God. Despite of your level, your position, you need God. Despite of your title, child of God, you need God. Despite of your experience, your age, you need God. It doesn't matter what kind of family you come from. You are, you are, you are, your origin, your background does not matter. What matters is child of God by all means. You need God. Mm, somebody, you need God in this place. You need God. Don't be fooled. You need God. You need God. Things may be working. You feel like there is peace. 
But child of God, you can ignore you can ignore the fact that you need God. But then you begin to realize that you are working so hard, you are well paid. In fact, you brag about it. You say in my family I'm the most well paid. But then look at look deeper. Try to look at your life. We don't argue. We know you are well paid. But how has the salary helped you? What have you done that you can say look at what my salary has done? You receive your salary the moment it gets to your phone like this your mother is sick. The moment you receive that contract, the moment you are paid you receive money like this something happened that squanders there are some there are things that one of the side effects or uh, that happens to runners is squandering squandering will deal with you uh, you'll be running like this you bump into squandering you'll be running like this from god you bump into uh, you'll be squandered and Still you are left with nothing. You are left a nobody. A person who had a title. A person who had praises. A person who was a mover. Right now people look at you. They have nothing to admire. They have nothing. Ah, They begin to give example with you. They will be telling their children. Hey, don't be like so and so. Hey, if you want to be rich. Don't be like so. Ah, <laughs> I refuse it. I refuse it. I refuse it. It is not my portion and and. Neither shall it be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm. The Bible says after he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in the whole country. And he began to be in need. Now, something that causes you to be in need, something that causes scarcity in your life, something that brings about famine, something that can cause about a uh, dryness in your life, is when you are outside the presence. Uh, you, there are some of you who think that now the moment you get one million, your prob- all your problems will be done. You are lying to yourself. Ask millionaires, they will tell you that is foolishness. Re- begin to replan. Some of you, you think the moment you build that house, the, that will be the end of it. Uh, Deborah, your journey has just begun for another level. You may have had the answer to build that house. Uh, who else? Uh, chosen. You, <laughs> your journey has just begun. The fact that God answered, we prayed and God answered you with that house, does not mean that now the journey, the journey has just begun. Who told you that the moment you receive the anointing, now you 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 have received everything? Ah, when I met my prophet, my father in the Lord, I could not even heal a a simple headache. What is the a simple headache? Headache sound to be so difficult for some men of God. Uh, which is the simplest one now? Somebody help me. I could not pray for anybody, and they they are healed. I rarely I. I I was a pastor. I had churches. I was leading people. But when I met this man of God, there is something he did in my life. He gave me a life. He gave me a value. He gave me a name. Ah, he made me to be me. Now you that you are here, you are enjoying my anointing. You are enjoying my prophecies. You are enjoying the, it, it all began somewhere. There is somebody that spoke a word and he said, from today, I make you a voice. Ah, right now my voice is speaking, people are being healed. Right now my voice is speaking, prophecies are coming to pass. My voice is speaking, lives are changing, families are changing. What is happening? Now because I, I received that small portion from my prophet, if I was stupid, if I was that, you know that people are very, I don't know, I, I lack a word for them. I would have run and say, now I have, I have the anointing. Ah, what do I need the man of God for? I can prophesy. Ah! <laughs> eh, eh, eh. That is the error that most of us do. Do you do the same with your boss the moment right now? We are, uh, some people here, 
you are in the process of receiving your salary after you receive your salary do you tell your do, do you tell your your boss in fact you are very foolish old woman i don't need you in my life do you insult that boss of yours after you have received your salary <laughs> <laughs> do you do you take your belonging and run and say uh, you will never see me here again because just because of a small salary 30000 50000 i don't know 100000 ah child of god you need god more than anything in your life you need god you need god don't run if you run away go back go back into prayers go back into giving go back into reading the word of god go back into serving god how you used to serve god when you were desperate now there are men who come they tell me man of god i want to do this offering uh, i i want god to remember my family you think you can buy miracles from god just because you have your 5000 shillings ah if it was so Do you think you can just bribe God because you give? Ah! <laughs> Giving is good but don't give because of you have expectations. Sometimes just give to appreciate God. Give, remember you used to be in the village. You you were a nobody. Your husband left you, people ran away from you. Now God has given you a life. Sometimes just tell God, "Father, because of where you have brought me, Father because if it were not for you I don't even know where I will be who I will be today I want to appreciate I just want to say thank you And now when we put up a service for thanksgiving uh service people are like why should I why wait There are people right now they are they are crying on beds some are on wheelchairs they are saying God if you can get me out of this situation Father if you can get me out of prison Ah there is somebody here we prayed he, her brother was in prison and we prayed and God gave the brother a uh, freedom I don't know if that person is here if you ask your brother the the kind of prayer he was praying in prison your brother will tell you I was like father if I come out of here I will never smoke again ha! <laughs> <laughs> I've been there I have ever been in prison one day I can never forget and I was there promising God heaven I told God thing that right now I remember I laugh on my own ah <laughs> eh, 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 eh. I was promising God heaven I tell God father ah! <laughs> Child of God, don't wait until things are to that point for you to begin giving God empty promises. Begin to do it now. Begin to serve God now. If I were God, I would be like, when you are when you are not sick, why were you not serving? If I were God and I have to heal you, you will have to you will have to sign an agreement with me so that I know. Thank God you have a very good God. <laughs> who operates in grace favor and love mm. but in as much as god is loving god himself is love in as much as god has given you grace child of god don't misuse the grace mm. don't misuse the grace child of god purpose to place god in front of everything in your life Ah now time has gone and I've not even begun to pray to preach let let me speak to people let me prophesy for the uh prophecy so that they can feel good <laughs> Ah let me prophesy to team prophecy so that they can feel good <laughs> It's not that we cannot prophesy we can prophesy we were born to do this thing Ah prophecy Ah we can prophesy. Ah you do you know who son who, do you know who my father is? Ah do you know who my father is somebody? Ah I am the son of prophet Caleb. One of the sharpest prophet in this season.
I am moving with his DNA in my spirit. I am moving with his blood in my spirit. I am moving. Ah, I carry the DNA of my father. I don't know who or what DNA is moving in your veins. But as for me, I know me. I am a son of the sharpest prophet. And I'm about to share the grace that God has put on my head. And the grace of my prophet is moving in this place. And somebody, you are about to be located in the name of Jesus Christ. You are here, you are sick, raise up your hand. I want to pray with you and your life will never be the same again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, Reho Sakapa. Ah. Uh, my daughter Anka, unmute your mic right now. I want to speak to you. Liko ze pariza kata. The power of God is moving in this place. Who is like God of my prophet? Ah, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Shalin. Ah. The devil messed with the wrong uh with the with the wrong lady here. This, this is a mistake. Put your hand on your head. How are you feeling right now as I'm speaking right now? How are you feeling? I, you know me, I, I like practical it's things. Still hmm? It's still hurting. I still feel like someone has insert, inserted needles on my right side of the of the heart. Ali <laughs> Gosari Bazisha. I want to pray for you and God is going to touch your life. Uh, is that sickness still yeah. there? Are you still sick? I want to confirm before before I release yes. what I'm about to release. Yes. Hmm? You have sick. You can I'm feel so sickness. Sick. Sick. Imagine after I I'm pray for you. To... Imagine after after I pray for you, you be healed. Just imagine. <laughs> imagine. I want you to imagine that you are about to be healed. Imagine. <laughs> hey, imagine. <laughs> hey, Sh Shalene. Imagine you are about to be healed. Yeah. How are you feeling that you are about to be healed? Amen. <laughs> I've been ah. and I cannot mm. even climb the stairs right now. I have to breathe heavy. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you and God is going to set you free. Mwandani, Hassan, God bless you for your offering. Uh, God is touching your life. Put your hand on your head. I want to pray. And you will be free right about now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Put your hand on your head. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As your daughter is holding her head right now. I speak healing. Let it happen from the crown of her head. To the very sole of her feet. I speak the healing of God. I rebuke. Puke every sickness, every infirmity in her system. Right now, let the power of God move. Experience God. Let the power of God occupy your body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, healing is your portion. God is touching you. God is setting you free. In Jesus' name, as I speak it, wherever you are, experience it. Let my voice transmit the healing of God in your system. Right now, it is happening. God is setting you free. Experience it. It is your portion in Jesus' name. You are healed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to feel yourself very well. Don't, don't try to excite me. I don't do that. You know me. Try and feel yourself so well. And if you are still not healed, let me know. If God has touched you, let me know. For the glory of God. Take your time and feel yourself very well. Don't, don't speak to entertain anybody here and you remain in pain. No. Make sure that what you are speaking is real and true. In the name of Jesus Christ. I saw Betty Bailey. Somebody kindly on Emo give Betty Bailey a space so that we can talk to her. She's, she's saying she's sick. <clears throat> she's saying she's sick. Come. Just wait there. My daughter, Shalin, what is happening on your side? It is an on and off pain right now. 
it has moved from where it was and it's starting to move like it's there, like it's not there. It's, it's moving like it is there, like it's not there. Yes. I carry a big God and that disease, whatever it is. I speak total healing upon your body. As I'm speaking right now, let the heat of God move and consume every bacteria, every virus, every disease. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, experience it from your side. God is moving. God is moving. Experience it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name Jesus Christ. It is done. What, what could you not do? I, I could not even climb the stairs. You know, I have stairs here. So I'll just try to go up and go, come down. Go, go, and right away. Go, go, go. No, I'm so radical when it comes to healing. I, I, I love the now miracles. I, I, don't, I don't believe on the tomorrow. Now. Right here. Ah, uh, Betty, how are you? I'm okay, I'm fine. Hmm, what is your sickness? Ah. Imagine at the Just imagine it. <laughs> hey, imagine that pain is leaving. Your your chest will be healed right now, and you are no more backaches. <laughs> Hey, Mugongo na kifua. Tuanze na nini? Tuanze na kifua ma Mugongo. <laughs> mugongo ndena uma sana. <laughs> Aya, weka mkono hapo. Nataka tu tuombe hiyo Mugongo aita uma tena. Eh, Shalina anataka kusema nini? Hujapona bana. <laughs> I don't believe something has just happened. The way Shalini is lifting her hand. Yes, Shalini, talk to me. Nime panda stairs, nime kibia lap tatuna. By the way, it's true. That pain has been disturbing me and I cannot feel it again. In fact, I had to run three times to confirm. So, <laughs> to confirm are, you trying, you could leave, eh? are you trying to say you are healed? or I, I don't get you. Are you trying to say no, you are healed? I'm trying to say. Hmm? I'm not trying to say, I'm just saying the truth. Like, I've been feeling this pain. In fact, I was crying today in the morning because of this. And I was thinking, if it continues, I'll go to the hospital. But right now, I'm not feeling the pain anymore. If you can hear me, I can breathe right now. I could not breathe right like that because of the pain. Ah. But right now... You are healed? I just need to God has just healed me. <laughs> Hey, yeah. come even the mnaskianga. Hey, now, now Betty, God has done it. Imagine that's going to be your testimony very soon. After I pray, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay. Ah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You are here. Thank you, God. Hey. It is your portion. Experience Amen. it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your life will never go down from this moment onward. May God work for you in the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. I receive in Jesus' name. Uh, yeah. Let us let uh, Betty is in pain. Let us uh, let us give uh, Betty this portion that she can experience God. Now, Betty, I want you to put your hand on your back right now. God is setting you free. No more backache. No more backache. Put your hand there, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. As I'm speaking these words, let this voice transmit your power and your healing up. Upon the life of Betty Belly, as she is listening to this voice right about now, wherever you are, Betty Belly, receive your healing. I rebuke that pain on your backache. In the name of Jesus, it is leaving you. I set you totally free. In Jesus' name, as I've spoken, experience it on your side. Let God move for you in Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is done. Now, what could you not do, Betty, before you came here? Concerning your back. 
kusimama straight sikuwa na weather boni simame nyo rise you are healing us come ah uh, god is moving here for somebody in this place in the name of the lord jesus christ ah niende kwa singi leo kinama ulikuwa unaweza kuinama beti would you bent before hmm? now i want you to bent and rise you will know when when you get <laughs> just bend down rise shale go sapa river hmm nimepoa kabisa nimepoa ah 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 no more pain hmm no 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 <laughs> go go we have allowed you as you come back we're going to be dealing with your chest as you move vile unaenda hivyo as you are moving may the god that has just touched your back touch your chest right now receive it healing is your portion in the name of jesus christ check check that chest check your back pain and let me know eh you could not walk <laughs> you know sometimes the devil makes very wrong choices touching my member is a very big mistake ah it's a is an error eh Oh it's an error. Experience God on your side and I decree and declare that from this moment peace is your portion. Healing is your portion. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not die because I look at you and I, I saw you you had even begun you are uliko mepanga mazishi yako mpaka ikaisha. I don't know if I'm making sense Betty. <laughs> yeah? I don't know if I'm, I'm making sense Betty. Eh? Nilipanga jana. Ah. Any as well Betty had planned for her death, her burial. Every... <laughs> ah, you will not die. You will not die. experience the god of this place in the name of jesus christ <laughs> may it be known to you that there is god in this place in the name of the lord jesus christ as i speak it from your side experience it in the name of the lord jesus christ it is done it is done it is done in jesus mighty name <laughs> I love the prophetic. Ah, I love the prophetic. I I don't know. I don't know what can I say. Ah, if God be on my side. Ha. I believe I will prophesy. Elizabeth Wangila, God bless you for your offering. Ah. If God be on my side, ah, uh, I will do exploits. Personally I told you I will not die until I have raised thousands back to life. I cannot I I I will not die it I cannot allow until I have preached the gospel to the globe. Uh until CNN I you know one day uh, Nancy you will tune on your TV CNN they will be saying uh, the man of God by the name Jephtha He was just passing nearby a mog and 50 people in that mog resurrected back to life. <laughs> uh, Pamela can you handle that kind of news? <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, it's going to happen now. Sometimes I imagine what will be my ex-girlfriend saying. My ex-girlfriend will be telling her <laughs> husband, "I used to date that man." <laughs> <laughs> that guy used to be my boyfriend. Ah! <laughs> ah! I decree and declare somebody under the influence of my voice. You will not die unfulfilled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Whatever God has purpose for you, it shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus, it will be your portion. It will be your portion. It will be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Every prophetic word that God has used this mouth to speak in your life shall come to pass. You will not die until it has come to be fulfilled. Every prophecy you have received from my prophet, my spiritual father, in the name of Jesus, you will live to encounter and experience it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Huh. I feel like uh, I, today I'm just in the mood to pray for the sick. Who else is here? You are sick. Uh, allow me to exercise my God in this place. You are here, you are sick. It doesn't matter what the doctor has told you. Come, here we have God. Who heals even the... the, 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 the uh, are you sick, Pamela? Razu Shabezeka. We serve God who heals even the doctor that is making you prescriptions. Ah! <laughs> You are here, you are sick, come. God is going to heal you. Pamela, somebody give my daughter a chance. To, oh, you are here. You are the host tonight. You are the host tonight. Uh, you look so good on that seat. How are you, uh, Pamela? I'm good. I'm good. Talk to me. Daddy, praise God. Amen. Okay. I gave someone my money, but he's not responding well. And I told him to give me the money before the 15th of this month. But I've tried to, to talk to my sisters to, to tell him to to, to to turn the money, but he's not even communicating with me. He's not even calling me in anything. I don't want to misbehave with my words. I just want my money back the way I gave him. I don't want to talk. Just pray for me to get the money back to me. I don't want to talk like I can be misbehave with my words to that man. You know, Pamela, Pamela is so... She looks, if you look at her picture, you'll see, you think that she's so humble. <clears throat> uh, she is a, a, a kind of, please, please don't touch me. Please don't. Ah, this Pamela you see here. <laughs> she's explosive. <laughs> this girl can explode. Ah, Deborah, if you want to know the true colors of this Pamela you're seeing here, touch her. You see, she's even confirming. <laughs> hey, does this man know where you go to church? Ah, because if he knew, he don't know. He if doesn't. he knew who your pastor is, you he, he will never try to joke with you, Pamela. Ah, this man is making a mistake of it. Ah, who does that? Ah, my daughter. And you think that you you ah 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 ah. ah, ah. <laughs> what do you want us to do with this man? Since you are the daughter of this house, tell me. <clears throat> I just want him to give me the money before Friday. Before I just Friday. want to give him before Friday. He turned the money back to me, just like that. <laughs> you know, I gave him the money secretly without even mommy knowing anything. Mm. And so I don't want to disclose things to my family so that they can see that I'm giving the money anyhow, little people. That man messed with the wrong guy. He should have asked which church you go to before he thought he can mess with you. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that guy wherever he is may he know that you carry God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as I speak these words I decree and I declare as a prophet of God from God that wherever this man is he will not have peace until he has paid you back. Mm, Pamela you'll have your money. You will have your money as I speak Pick it wherever this man is. Let him feel the heat of this altar. Let him feel the heat of this anointing. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. May he release what is your own. May he pay you back what belongs to you. As I speak it, so shall it be your portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
it is done. It is done. You, saw, you know, I, I saw Tibo here. Uh, we prayed for his eyes and God touched his eyes. I want to believe he's still seeing. Uh, kindly somebody, Deborah, before I speak to you, uh, let me confirm with the T-boy if the miracle was permanent or what happened. Come. Somebody please, come, come, take number seven, T-boy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Tibo, you can take number seven. Come and talk to me, sir. How are you? Good evening, Pastor. Evening to you. How have you been going on? I'm fine, sir. Your eyes are still seeing? The eye? Mm. Yes. <laughs> hey, now, you, you, don't, you don't even need the glasses anymore. <laughs> Amen. I'm asking, I'm asking, T-Boy. You, you don't need the glasses anymore right now? I don't need it, sir. Ah, look, look, at, look at the God we serve. Do you have a Bible there? I want you to read. So, you know, it's when you read the Bible to me that I will know at this Hello? thing. Do you have a Bible there? You have a Bible, T-Boy? Hello. Ah, Rezo Shapagada. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know if you can hear me, T boy. Can you hear me now? Hello. Ah, T boy, T boy. Ah, <laughs> his network problem, problem maybe. Marika, your name is like America. <laughs> yeah. You can hear me right now, uh, T boy. Uh, as he is trying to sort out his network issue, I, I saw my daughter raising her hand. Talk to me, daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Shaliza Bavu Shahakata. Deborah, you can talk to me. Hi, Dad. Hi how are you? Praise God. Amen. Uh, for me. For me, you remember the attack of last week, the one I told you. So, hapa kwa mgongo, oh, here at my back, kuna bado kuna ile peni nyui nakuja from that attack. So, sometimes inakuja, like right now, iko inakuja, then inaenda, like, who nelewa what I'm talking about? Mm, I understand. I understand. May God touch you right now. I rebuke every pain on your back. As I speak it, wherever you are, experience God. Right now, the power of God is touching you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke every pain. I set you free and I subject you to healing. I subject you to freedom. In Jesus' mighty name, wherever you are, experience it. It is done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Try to do what you could not do. Could you bend before? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch and tell us what is happening on your side. Mm. So it may reduce Utungu. Stretch right tenor. It's not that painful the way it was. Ah, stretch again. It's gone. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ah. It's gone. It's gone. It's Are you? gone. It's gone. Confirm, confirm. Stretch, stretch again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know the pain that I was feeling, and I have tried to do it on my own. For hey, you know, you know, you. <laughs> uh, this is the God we serve Thank in this you. place. You know, today I, I, I wish, bring me the sick. Let them come. Let them, as they come, it's not me. It is God. We will show. Hey, 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 come very fast. I love this one. Jaba is saying, Mwili uchungu kila mahali, alafu mwili ninzito. Come, come, come. Somebody give Jaba nyar on eh, these names. Come, Jaba. God is going to set you free from every pain on your body. How are you feeling right now? Na mwana mwili tu kila mahali tu. 
<laughs> the whole body. Which which kind of disease is this? <laughs> now. Nzito mifupa kwame on my apple kwanis zote ni mifura I can't bend. Oh, you can't bend. Tafu kienda lu. Ah. Ya ukienda lu na jeshikilia. That this one is serious. Now imagine God is about to set you free. Just imagine that. Mm. Just imagine you see after even right now as I'm speaking to you, imagine God is healing you. Just just imagine yourself back to your normal health. Imagine what God is about to do. Which kind of sickness is this that you just wake up and your whole body is in pain? Jabba, God is about to touch your life. Put your hand on your head. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, <clears throat> with the same voice that you made to become a blessing, to become a solution to your children, I speak healing upon the life of Jabba right now. I rebuke every pain in her body. Whatever is causing her body to be in pain right now, I rebuke it. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, as I'm speaking this word, freedom is happening in your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the power and the hand of God is touching you. Let the power of God occupy your body, every joint on your body. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, God is setting you free. God is setting you free. As I speak it right now, experience it on your side, Jabba. In Jesus' name, experience the healing of God. I have spoken. Let it take place. Let it take place. Manifestation. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, experience it. It is your portion. It is done in Jesus' name. Now, you said you cannot do what? You can't bend. You, you said you could not bend. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You said you could not bend. Now, bend. You are sweating right now. Something is happening. God is setting you free. God is setting you free. The power of God is too much on your side. This power is available. This healing is available. And especially when you come to this service, expect to experience it in your, in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to bend and tell me what is, tell me if you can bend. Try and bend and tell me if you can bend. Thank you, Jesus. So, Raguanza, initially you could not do that. Uh, now, bent again. Bent again and tell me what is happening on your side. Thank you, Jesus. How are you feeling right now on your side? You can bend now. I'm bending. How about the pain on your joints? Now mm. is the exercise I'm doing right now. Mm. You can even hear the yam in a hem and a hem a kama when you're in a panda mlima. See what wow. God can do. See what God can do. See what God can do. Just look at this. Look at what God can do. You came here under the influence of my voice and you are trusting God for a miracle. A transformation, a shift in your life. Wherever you are, it is happening. Experience it in the name of Jesus. 
Ah, it is your portion. It is your portion. Wherever you are, you came here for God. May God touch you. May God move for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, how are you feeling right now, Jabba? I'm light. You are light. Can you like jump? Before, yeah. is my body was like um, and I'm carrying a kamzigo. Thank you, Jesus. Alafu, mm. Mungu ni sana, ni mache tu group yangu. Mm. Pia ni amani. Ani kachikuta uku. Mungu ni sana. Asante kukupokea uponyaji wangu. This is what God wanted you to come and experience. Now when you go there, don't forget to tell them what God has done in your life. Right? <laughs> but I'm sweating a lot. Ah, God is working on you. We we our name is Voice to the Globe. We are prophetic. We experience God. I have followed the group. And me follow, ni me follow. Wow. You will never go down. May God preserve you for greatness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rezo shaka zika. Sante mungu. Sante baba. Sante kwa mkono wako. Sante kwa nema yako. We serve a big Lord. Ulikuwa na sababu ya mimi kuingi hapa. Nimekuwa ni mebebesho mzigo. Lakini sasa ni kumbu ya pesi. Sante mungu wangu. Sifa na utuku mziku. Udia milene. This is the God we serve. And I, I was, nilikuwa na ungetu na mwenzangu na mwenye emi na umwa na mwenye na sketu ni kama ni mebeba mtu. So you see. Asa kumaliza kuungena tu hivi, nika click, nika ingia kwa grupu yetu, nika toka. Sasa, nika wana, nika sama, ay, ay, ni gani ya yabu ni ingia huko. Kajiku tatu ni meingia. Mufika penyewe ba. This is the God we serve. We carry God. Our God is a miracle. Ata misi ya mili. Unawana vile we. The way you don't believe it. Ata mimi. Inumani ni mesma matena ni mimi. Na matena. Wa matena ni zenda mbiyo. One, two, three. Thank you Lord. Java does not believe what is happening here. You know I thank God. I thank God I don't know you. I'll never. Mimi sikujui. Unasikia napiga vitanda teke yake. You know, Jaba, if it were if it were one of my daughters here, somebody could say we are acting. I told I told uh, Deborah to. <laughs> we carry a big God in this place. We carry a big God in this place. Amen. You see, what I saw in the realm of the spirit, the devil wanted to frustrate your life. Because I'm looking at you right now, I see a woman who works so hard. You work. You are hard working. You are a goal getter. But I look at you and I, I peeped in your account, in your wallet, in I don't see money. It's like you work so hard to, to entertain. I don't know. Where are the Pesa ako nendanga wapi jaba? Where does your money go? And you are working. So I, I assume that it is Jabba. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's okay, Beatrice. Now, in the realm of the spirit, I saw you. I saw you gathering, but when I look at your hand, I don't see anything. It's like you work so hard. You purpose. You even make targets. 
Right now, there are many projects you wanted to do, even in your home. But every time you begin to plan, every time you begin to plan, you say, now I'm going to serve to do this. The moment you do that, that is when sickness arises. I don't know if I'm making sense. Uh, what is the name again? Beatrice. But today, the God that has touched your body and healed you is delivering you from every spirit that swallows money from you in the name of Jesus. God told me to tell you, you be careful with what you entertain in your phone. All right? Yes. Because some of what you are passing through actually has has found access in your life by what you do with your phone. God told me from today, be keen on how you use your phone. I don't know if I'm making sense. Uh, you, uh, what, just, what's your name again? Ah, Beatrice. I don't know if I'm making sense, but God told me to tell you, you be careful and sensitive on how you use your phone. Because the devil has taken advantage on how you relate with your phone to inflict you, to possess you with spirits that have tortured your life. To a point that you work so hard you don't see money. You try re relationship are, are your worst enemies. I don't know if I'm making sense. Uh, <laughs> Hakuna chochote inafanyika, hakuna. Hata nyumba nataka ni jenge home, inaenda tuifo. Friday, nimelitia mtoto shule. Fi, taz nini on third, akufumfo. Kati pa school fees. Na nikanua uniform, pia akuboarding. Nikanua rimpipa mbili. Fiyo mathematical table, nikalipa pisa kidogo. Kufika tisa tisa ya usiku na pigiwa simu na pizipo. Epi mtoto wame patikano wakivuta bangi. Sasa yu shule wame mtoktua, hawa mtaki tena uko. Tani mikuwa ni mzigo, ni hanzi tena kutafuta shule ingine. Pisa nilikuwa ni melipa, ni miaribu kila kitu. Imaanza sasa ni kukopesha tena. I decree and declare right now. By the grace of God and the anointing of God upon my head. Your hour, your time of deliverance has come. Let freedom happen in your life from today, from this moment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree and declare right about now. Experience God. You will never be a victim of those spirits again. Whatever tortures your life, whatever frustrates your life from today, it is defeated in the name of the Lord Jesus. As I speak it, wherever you are right now, experience it. It is your portion. As I release it, partake it. Wherever you are, partake it. In Jesus' mighty name, I set you totally free. From today, your relationships are going to work. From today, money will work in your favor. From today, your family, your kids, they are protected wherever they are. In Jesus' name, as I decree these words, experience them from this moment. In Jesus' name, it is your portion. Receive it. Receive it. God bless you and keep in the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. I, I can go on and go on and go and go on, but because of time, uh, I want to yes. just bless everybody. Uh, unless you are sick, I will pray with you. If you are here, you are sick, I will pray with you. God will touch you. But we will be here again. Mm. Anaito Stanley Awambo. Sasi mebidi ni mpeleke shule ingine iko uko nyamira. Tumemtua. Alikuwa uko siaya. Tumemtua uko sasa uko nyamira. Hame ingia leo shule ni leo. Leo, leo hii. Wow. You will not. You will not be. You will not be wasting money again. Because you see this. Your son you are talking about. I'm seeing a very serious spirit that fights. 
potential in your family especially men because in your in your family if you look at all men i don't know if there is anybody who can say this is this person has value i don't know unless you tell me hakuna 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 hata 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 nia watoto saa hizi ndio tunasema wanaenda high school now, now this this spirit this spirit that rubbish people in your family is trying to attack your son but right now under the influence of my voice i decree and declare that your son is preserved your son is protected i separate him from any company that is not of god as i speak it let the power and the grace and the unction of god move for your son in jesus name let the grace of god happen let the power of god protect this young man i hide him from any destruction that is focused to frustrate his life that in the name of the lord jesus his education is secured his life is secured as i speak these words let the power and the grace of god move for your son from today protection is his portion he will prosper he will perform in in his class in the name of jesus as i speak it may you experience it in jesus mighty name wherever you are you can say amen it is done you will see god amen. it is amen. done amen god bless amen. everybody thank you so much for coming those that are doing your offering the number is there my daughter has been posting there do your offering and your life will never be the same again in jesus name father i speak your blessing those that are giving father lord move for them those that are that came here to experience you father fight for them separate them from anything that may cause them not to experience your victory i speak blessings i speak your power let your move locate each and every one of them that in the name of jesus none of them will be frustrated those that are watching on facebook i speak blessings upon their lives their life will rise in the name of the lord jesus christ may god touch you i speak a you turn a turn to your victory a direction to your prosperity a direction to your testimony in the mighty name of the lord jesus as i speak it wherever you are experience it it is your portion may god touch you may god do you well may god increase you may god supply all the needs of your life in jesus name wherever you are experience it it is in jesus name i pray somebody under the influence of my voice you can say amen and may god bless you may god increase you in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you my viewer thank you so much my listener on emo thank you for coming you have been a big blessing i don't know i don't know i don't know but i thank god may god prosper you and do you well in jesus name everybody all over the world shalom 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 may god bless you and increase you in jesus mighty glorious name amen